Welcome to the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Kyle Ganton filling in for Robert Ryerson, and here is the seafood news for Monday, February 16, 2015. The Atlantic cod catching season has begun in Europe, but output is far less than anticipated. Fishermen in Northern Europe expressed concerns that their catch is nearly 30% shorter than expected. Pricing on Atlantic cod raw materials is still very strong due to the prevailing veritable catch. This is putting a lot of pressure on finished products. Last fall, raw materials were around 3,400 per metric ton, translating to around 325 FOB Boston. Currently, raw materials are up 6% over last year, around 340 per pound FOB Boston. Earlier this year, we anticipated pricing could go as high as 350 per pound, however, that might not be the case. Due to the current strong pricing on Atlantic cod, some Chinese processors are going to cut their production on cod next year. A few high volume customers will be retained, but production capacity might revert to Pollock. The Japanese market on Atlantic cod is still strong, so Chinese suppliers will be focusing on products for that market in the coming months after Chinese New Year. Chinese plants will be closed for two weeks as of Thursday, February 19th, in recognition of the New Year. We will see new pricing and have a better idea of production for all species thereafter. In other news, sockeye salmon raw materials seem to be a buyer's market. There could be some panic, but pricing is dropping. Sockeye prices are between 265 and 270 for the 2 to 4 pound sizing, 285 to 325 for the 4 to 6s, and 330 to 335 for the 6 to 9s. All prices FOB Seattle. Coho salmon, in comparison, has had a banner year the west, in the West Coast from British Columbia all the way up to Alaska, with higher catches than anticipated. There is strong supply, but prices are still high, higher than sockeye, in fact. King salmon is still pretty strong. We are seeing numerous pale king offers. Pricing is all over the place, from $1.34 per pound for pails up to $6.95 for troll cod. Lastly, Chum salmon is starting to dwindle in the Puget Sound. Supplies appear to be very low. For dark, good meat color fish, pricing is around 170 for 4 to 6s, 185 for 6 to 9s, and 195 for 9 ups. Semi brights are running around 10 cents per pound higher. Pale chums are $1.10 per pound for 4 to 6s, $1.25 for 6 to 9s, and $1.35 for 9 ups. Last year, the Fraser River chum harvest was very poor. Around 248,000 fish were harvested, a stark difference from the forecasted 1.49 million fish. In the preliminary 2015 salmon outlook from the Department of Fisheries and Oceans, this year's outlook was given a near target status, indicating that the stock is within 25% of their target. The in-season estimate of the terminal return as of October 2014 was approximately 1.3 million chum salmon, but a final copy of the 2015 outlook will, is planned for release in May. The Tradex Live offer of the week is for 3-ounce Sinbad brand Atlantic cod loins for $2.95 per pound FOB Chicago cold storage. Give us a call today for more details. Thank you for joining me for the Tradex Foods 3-Minute Market Insight. This is Kyla Ganton. Buy smart and eat more seafood.